did is putting his foot in Apollo's butt. <laughs> He's putting him in the butt. He's kicking him in the butt. You know, that that is okay, why go. you are a close second to Boss Rutan when it comes to color commentary. Such insightful comments like that, Quentin. I mean, <laughs> I, it's amazing. I love it, buddy. But if he if he missed, he'll be hitting him in his midsection. That, that would hurt. So if, that's not a good good thing for Apollo to be on his back like that. Uh-oh. Card comes out. And here comes the red card. For, for what? To both fighters. And <laughs> Quentin asks for what? Well, again, in Bushido, Quentin, it's all about action. It's all about... Keeping it going, and the feeling out process has to stop, buddy. We need to see some, uh, you know, closing of the gap. We need to see some sustained action. It looks but, like Filio wants to do that. But Filio's getting his butt kicked, literally. Literally, at the time. Yeah. How do you see this fight thus far, boss? Uh, I see it equal. I mean, I, um, I really can't tell. I think Filio connected a little bit more uh, with, with, with power shots. But the rest is all, it's, it, it's in the air, you know. It's, uh, they have to step a little bit closer, like uh, three inches closer, two, two, three inches, and then they will actually connect. So that's what the referee tries to make him do. Rampage, what do you see has to happen to break this stand-up stalemate right now? What would you suggest? I suggest that they do what Ball said. They should get some inches in between those guys and, 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 and get it going. Jaw jacking. I want to see some so you're jokes. drinking Boss Rune's lemonade is what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not drinking his lemonade. No, that's that's very, very strange said, Mar. Uh, it's, it's an obscure oh, It must be a joke. Canadian joke. It must be a Canadian no, joke. No, it's actually an American, but that, don't worry about it. Producer Jerry Millen might understand. I think Jerry Millen understands. All right, lemonade, we continue okay. here. Shoji and Filio. Filio picking a spot. Shoji also a trying. I mean, it seems the crisper striker thus far is Filio. Yep. But Shoji, again, training at AMC Pancration, wants to get better and better in that department. They need to throw some jabs. Yeah, but Filio, every, yeah, Shoji shoots. But uh, Filio, every time connects with a right hook. If you can connect with the right hook, the left straight will be a hit for sure because the hook is shorter than the straight. So why doesn't he follow it up with the left straight? Because he don't know the stuff you know, boss. Yeah, he should. One minute left. And Into the final minute. Filio coming off a win over veteran Daijiro Matsui at Gladiator Fighting Championships last month. Good, good job. I don't like Matsui. Something you care to uh, go into here, sir? I don't want to talk. Scoop? I don't want to talk about it. I just don't like Matsui. Oh, nice, nice left. jab right through the guard by was it left? Filio. Yeah. So left straight. Oh, it was not a jab. What was it? He's a southpaw. I would say it's a jab. <laughs> Who's a southpaw? <laughs> Uh, that's okay. That's that's why you're you are the play by play guy. That's okay? right. And I'm the color commentator. And I'm I'm the commentator with color. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making it interesting. Yeah. Oh, and again. They're here all week. Make sure you sample the buffet. Okay, Shoji and Filio again. The crowd really wanting to get behind them. They want to see more sustained action as well. A tentative opening ten minutes. Filio and Shoji, and there we have it. It's in the books. Look at him. Shoji needs to shed some weight. <laughs> well, believe it or not, he, he shed over 50 pounds since Whoa. he left Japan to go to the United States with AMC Pancration. Well, then he yeah, got 30 more to go. 47 pounds he, he uh, yeah. dropped. All right, here we go. Let's Replay. go through this, guys. Oh, look, you see, he connects. He should do it the other way around. Left hook, and then that straight. Yeah, he missed with the left straight. But that's what he should be working on. That's what his corner should tell him right now. You know, interesting in that replay, boss, when he hit him with the right hook, it looked like he did uh, jar a shoji, but they went right away to the body lock. Yep. Uh, he could have uh, come back with a, a left and maybe done even more damage. Inexperience, that's what it's called. A well, oh. guy who's been in Pride 21 times, is it experience? No, you talking about Paulo Filho, right? Oh, yeah, for his sake, that's yeah, right. But yeah, I'm talking yeah. about Shoji. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about no you're right, you're right. Yeah, look, look. You I want to, I wanna, you know, I might as well get, you know, people uh, yelling at me about you as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they already did it with Boss. I'm going yep. to tell you guys. Play by play. Play <laughs> by play. Play by play. <laughs> Yell at this guy. This guy is crazy. He talks to himself all the time. I walk past the hotel room. He's sitting there talking by his, to himself by himself. I don't understand this guy. As long as I'm not standing in front of the mirror, Quentin, you're okay, right, boss? Yeah, uh, let's not go into that, okay? <laughs> All right, the second and final round here of this opening bout between Brazilian top team and Team Japan, the best of three series. 
seconds away, Shoji and Filio. Shoji trying to avenge the loss to Filio at Pride 22 when he was submitted via armbar. And the ropes. And uh, another red card has been issued, so uh, yeah. these fighters, if they want to take home any kind of remuneration tonight, they'll they'll have to focus on the fight. Oh, nice. no, he connects. Man, you're using big words over there, too. I don't, you lost me when you said that big word. I don't know what the hell you're talking about now. Their paycheck, oh, Brenton. Thanks. It's all about the cheddar. Thank you. Say it like that. Well, see, now this is what should have happened, round number one. Yeah. Now they're closing the distance. I think Matt went whispering in the soldier ear and said, hey, man, you got those big shorts on? Use them. Use some kicks. Use some punches. Boss, do you think it's better to fight in the Valley Tudo shorts or the big? It depends. The Valley Tudo shorts I like as long as they're very loose around my legs. I don't yeah. like anything tight around my legs because yeah. it shows my muscle definition. No, no, it's <laughs> from, that's from the movie. No, but it is. It like cuts off my arteries or something. I, I don't like wearing gloves either. No, you don't. Yeah. One minute has elapsed in this final round. Filio hurts Soji with that low kick. I think the girls like the Valley Tudo shorts if you got a nice bottom. Yeah, uh, as long as you wear a cup, it's always okay, I guess. Yeah, girls, you know, I used to wear the Valley Tudo shorts. Girls used to come at me on and say, ooh, man, man. Like, Shoji oh, no. attempts a low kick. Ooh, and nice. it's Filio Throw connected. Nice right low kicks. Nice snap to that kick. Yeah, it has more impact. Uh, Filio's kicks have more impact than Shoji kicks. Well, I think it's uh, plain to see that Filio is definitely the more powerful of the two fighters uh, in better physical condition, just blessed with that. In fact, uh, he's five pounds lighter than Shoji. He looks it. But definitely has uh, the better definition. Who do you think is winning right at this point right now? I, I, I would say Filio, because Filio connect more. Uh, okay, now he connects. <laughs> but I mean, that's always what I say. It. It's like having a toothache, you go to the dentist and it's gone, you know? <laughs> I wonder what those guys saying in Portuguese. Though. Now it's Shoji that's pressing the fight a bit. Yeah, he should. He should. He should go because obviously, otherwise he's gonna lose the fight. Then there's no draw. That you see now it starts to have effect. He should go, go, go. Hey, he blocks the low kick with his right hand. That is not a good thing. He should look low, kick high. Try one more time first and go for the liver shot. Hey, oh yeah, that's no, no, always good. <laughs> Okay, guys at home, you can drink one now. <laughs> hey, look at this lucky. You see, he keeps his hand low every time he kicks it. Watch. His left low kick, uh, Filio's right hand comes down. Oh. There's a single leg oh, attempt defense. by Filio. Shoji escapes and lands the right. That's Man, good defense. I do not. Okay, now it's very difficult to be a judge in this fight. Well, they're opening it up now in the last two minutes, Boss and Quentin. There's the takedown attempt. Good balance by Shoji. Very I would cold. give the slight edge right now at this stage, though, to Paulo Filio, you guys. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'd agree with you guys. Oh, he, he don't know how to Oh, knee. man, there could have been a knee right there, baby. Yep. It could have been also a chair or a baseball bat. <laughs> See, if I would have said that... No, 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 but it's... You would have... You wouldn't be able to count the uh, criticism, but a Wapo Boss Ruthen can get away with that kind of stuff. I'm the color, color. Yes, okay. that's right. Oh, Ooh, low, low blow. blow. Oh, they, I yeah. hate those low blows, boy. Except when I give them. Yep, that's true. Yeah. Jockeying for position in the close quarters, finally creating some distance. Oh, he's sticking his head out there so he can get hit. Wow. It's. I'm telling you, All right, here it is. Are we going to be in for an exciting final 60 seconds? The crowd hopes so as they begin to cheer. Filio connects at a higher rate than Shoji. It is a close fight, though. It's a close fight, yes. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Very close. Yeah, but Filio got a little bit slight of an edge. So. And it's not like uh, they want to increase the intensity here, although it looks like Filio was loading up to attempt something. It looked like a jumping Not knee. the better of it. He blocks it with his right hand. Should go for a, a, a fake low kick and then with the right left. straight. But, but Shoji has short legs. he probably kick him in the chest. That's true. Make it a jumping one. Yeah. 
Oh, he, he Nine seconds. It. That was a good low kick. The opening bout of the best of three series That's between Team Japan and Brazilian top team Akira Shoji and Paulo Filho. Part two. I told you don't even want to hit him. Like there is the bell to wrap up this fight, and we'll go to the judges. And we'll go to our unofficial judges here at the broadcast table. Boss Rudin, Quentin Jackson, how do you see this one? Okay, Quentin, you go first, man. Okay, I'll go first. All right. I like Kiro Shoji style. He kind of jiggly, and he got the big trunks on. And Paulo Filho got the Valet Tudo trunks on, and Valet Tudo is very big in Brazil. And Kiro Shoji, not a boxer, he got the boxing trunks on. So I had to go with the Valet Tudo and the Valet Tudo draws. Because the boxing shorts didn't take it this time he was not a boxer you okay know? so but the, it was she also in the losing so he's in the losing dressing room that's Describe what you're saying player, yeah guys. yeah <laughs> all right, here we go let's go through all that ac action there boss. oh there's the first knee yeah yeah i think it was it his was right not one. right on the cup it, i think he got his right one though i, I could yeah. be mistaken Slow motion? No, they slow motion? <laughs> yeah. It's like, they, it's like they hit the right one to me. I don't, I don't All right, we're wrong. about to find out who draws first blood in this best of three series, and uh, the referee bringing the fighters <laughs> to the center of the ring as they embrace. Good sign of sportsmanship there, and that's what MMA and Pride Fighting Championships is all about. Healthy competition yeah, and then mutual respect. Yeah, we don't hate each other, man. It's a, it's a job. It's a sport. No haters here. No haters. Just like basketball. Except for we get hit. Wow, a lot of split decisions here tonight. Yep. Yep, I think it's a good decision. I think it is as well. Yeah, I agree. Very close fight, but Paulo Filho defeats Sakura Shoji. For the second time in his career, Valetudo has prevailed. He improves to two and zero, remains undefeated at eight and zero in his career. For Shoji, he falls to nine, ten and two in pride. So they remain standing. He's Not nine. a lot of damage done on either side, but enough for Paulo Filio to emerge victorious. A Shoji nine, ten and two in pride. Yeah. He's 9, 10, and 2. He's been here 21 times, more than any other fighter, my man. More than Igor Bochanchin? Yes, even more than the Ice Man. Igor Bochanchin. Ice, no, ice, ice Cold. Ice, ice oh, Cold. The ice Cold. Man, Ice Cold. Ice, ice Man Chuck Liddell. The Ice Man got a mohawk. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Ice Man I saw in an HBO documentary like a week ago. Uh -huh. That's a contract killer or something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, man. Oh, that yeah. was a scary That's guy. Scary Did you see guy, that? Man. Yeah. Party yeah. yeah. on. Up to the next fight. Fabio Melo! Melo is 29, 5'7", 165 pounds, making his debut tonight here at Bushido Ford Prize. Gomi Takamori! Gomi's 25, 5'8", 165 pounds, 2 and 0 in Pride Fighting Championships. And again, going into this, the second Bout, and yes, Boss and Quentin, that's bout in the best of three series between the Brazilian top team and Team Japan. It is 1-0 for the Brazilians. Paulo Filo earning the split decision over Akira Shoji in the last bout. 1-0. Let's go. Gomi's last fight lasted as long as uh, my relationships, Boss. Six seconds, he destroyed Half Gracie at Bushido 3. I think Melo is hoping he lasts a little longer than that here tonight. What's wrong with your relationship? She saw you down below or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No respect for the Canadian. Okay, Melo and Gomi circle each other here, going again through the feeling out process, which has been the order of the night. And a nice kick there delivered by Melo. Oh, that was hard. I feel and that it was, kick. And it was a good reflex by Gomi, by the way. He nearly missed, but he almost grabbed the leg. Oh. Look. It was a quick, I didn't even see it. It was a good kick. Yeah, that, I heard it. Yep. Of course, Gomi, nice uppercut Whoa. there by Takanori Gomi. Man, he swung from Kentucky. 
Gomi, of course, made his mark. Missing with the roundhouse was Melo. And again, Gomi showing uh, that hand of aggression here, guys. That boy, good. I see it right good now. Good reflexes. Yeah. You know, when it comes to Gomi, it's his uh, striking and ground and pound, which are his biggest strengths. And he also possesses the stamina to go the distance. Melo, of course, from the Brazilian top team under the tutelage of the likes of Mario Sperry, the coach in his corner tonight. He's a veteran of deep Mecca FC and Chudo Brazil. His last victory, his last fight against Luciano Azevedo. Did you say his last victory was over Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> no, guy. but the uh, Gomi's last fight was shorter than Danny DeVito. No, it was against Luciano Azevedo oh, okay. at Shudo Brazil in November. Oh, sorry. And sorry. speaking of Shudo, Gomi was uh, undefeated in the first five years of his career in Shudo, known as the undefeated king until he faced Finnish fighter Joaquim Hansen, losing his welterweight title in August of 2003. His only other loss coming at the hands of the very talented BJ Penn. Oh, well. What was that? A slam. Was you that should a know. Sound like a head hit the mat. Gomi desperately trying to pass the guard and gain side position. It was good. I saw a setup coming up. And yep. I'm not even a jiu-jitsu guy. Watch out, man. You get healed in the face like I did. And How is that cut coming? I see it's it's healing rather nicely. Oh, I didn't get a cut from the heel. Oh, no, but you this. did suffer a nasty gash. How is that? Uh, how are you doing? That's good. I got plated surgery. So I'm doing good. The doctor in Pride, they have real good doctors in the back room, man. He stitched me up real good. Of course, you suffered that nasty gash uh, in the exciting finish of that fight with that slam heard around the world when you came down and accidentally, of course, headbutted his mouth, right? No, he headbutted me. Watching in slow motion, buddy. <laughs> I like I, I, I knew it was accidental. I'm not uh, yeah, he casting me. aspersions anywhere. Yeah, at first, I thought I headbutted him, but he, he headbutted me when his head bounced off the, off the mat. Like a basketball. Gomi looking to pass in the end, but uh, Melo keeping him in there. Yep, it's going to be a very difficult task to get his arm out of him. He actually had it in the beginning of the fight, surprisingly. What what are they doing now? Is this um, like playing chess? This is what the referee says. Uh, okay, stop and get up. And don't do it too much, because otherwise you're going to get a red card. Okay. I like those shorts that the... Uh, Guy have nice on. low kick by Melo. Melo, I like those shorts he got on. It's cool. It's cool to look good after while you're fighting too, you know. Yeah, it's always good. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes like relaxing. Yeah. 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 Comey here, showing a look of okay, what are we gonna do here, guys? It's Comey kind of uh, giving that look of. Uh, are you got, are you, do you want to engage here or what? Let's do this thing. Did you call him Kobe? Gomi. Oh, okay. From the side. Wow, what the reflexes. Nice oh, kick. And oh, you're right. He almost catches it again, Bob. Yeah, and then and he counters it with left straight right away. And look at the knee. Everything is on the right spot. Yeah, that kid got skills. Yep. What's his weight class, guys? He's 155 pound weight class, although he comes into the fight tonight at 165 pounds. Both of them are 165 tonight. Hey, I want to fight that Japanese guy. Would I be too big to fight him? Yeah, I, I think you're too big. Oh, okay, I'm too big. Maybe if you uh, lose like 30 pounds, oh, it well, should be okay. That, that fight never happened. I don't want to shed no weight. Melo, a very versatile fighter. He's won yeah. competitions in Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, Valley Tudo, and submission fighting. His only loss coming to Bushido One participant Dokon Jonasuke Mishima, deep eighth impact last year. And of course, uh, Mishima very entertaining tonight as he defeated Marcos Aurelio early on here at Bushido Four. Gomi has a victory over Mishima in his career. Gomi got a lot of victories, huh? Oh, for sure. He's 16 and 2 in MMA with the only losses coming to Hansen and Penn. All right, that's pretty good. Henson? Oh, yeah, yeah. Henson. They... Joaquim Henson, the yeah, great yeah. finish fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys tough. Wow. Nice heel strike there by Melo. Yeah, those heels don't play. And the top team guys, they be doing it. Trust me. Oh, man, some uh, power in those kicks. Is Melo content to stay in the butt scoop position. I think the referee is... Uh, Almost thinking about bringing him up, but uh, Gomi willing to wow. engage once again as he goes down and strikes Mello. The butt scoop position is pretty popular amongst the top team fighters. 
Yeah, jujitsu practitioners use it a lot for sure. Oh, okay. And now the referee finally will bring both of them back up to their feet. And give him a red card. He put, he put it in his face. I hate when they put it in your face. Yeah. Just, just hold it up. Don't put it in my face. Yeah, it's like like pointing somebody on his chest. Yeah. Like touching I, him. I got one of those in a locker room once. <laughs> <laughs> so Melo has drawn the red card from the referee. Nice right hand there by Gomez. Yep. Fast. Oh, and he misses. Does Melo with a wild oh, left. Nice knee. And here we go. Mixing it up nicely. Wow. It's Takanori Gomez. Yep, there's nothing I can say. Look at this. He's yeah. moving unbelievable. I think Japan going to have their first victory tonight. Yep. Mm -hmm. Past the halfway point into the final four minutes of this opening round. And Gomi again doing a great job as Melo takes him to where he is probably most comfortable on the ground into his guard. It's an open guard now, but so far... Gomi has had little difficulty in asserting dominance from this position as well, guys. Why he don't just knee him in his butt right now? That's what I would do. It would hurt. If I was that small, you know what I'm saying? Those small guys, you get a little, little bit of leg. Just knee him in the butt. Hey, listen, a lot of knees there on the back. It's going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to take his tall. And knee him in the tailbone. <laughs> that hurts, man. They should have a rule against that. I know. You huh? can't go blind, no? <laughs> That's what they say, yeah? Yeah. You got to be careful when you do it. There's a hammer fist. You may lose your knee. Now Gomi easily gets back up to his feet. Wide base there by Gomi. Gomi should just stand up here and uh, resume with the, the, the stand-up game. I mean, he's doing really good at it. Yeah. There's another Look hammer fist just really opening up now is Gomi. Whilst in the guard of Melo. It's definitely been Takanori Gomi's round as we are into the final three minutes of round one in this second fight in the best of three series between Team Japan and Brazilian top team. Oh, that was a good hit there. Melo stunned him. Yeah. And look at the reflexes of Gomi again, boss. Whoa. Right, every time he attempts to take his... Oh, by good Gomi. coming there. And a nice upper oh, as well. This is an exchange. Beautiful. Man, this is a scrap right here. Gomi mixing it up with the fists and the knees. Melo. Oh. Trying to neutralize the attack while on the ropes. Oh. Man, is Gomi with this. the knees and the fists. Oh, oh to the body. That's over. The ground. That knee hurt. He should get up. He should get up. He should stand up because he's hurt to the body. A great job of a passing. Yes, and yeah. now there's the knees from the side mount. And the right hands, the hammer fist. Quentin, we're seeing a dismantling here, courtesy of Takanori Gomi. Are you impressed with this I'm Japanese impressed. superstar? I'm impressed with the Japanese guy. Unbelievable. I have, I've, I've been speechless the whole fight. I'm impressed. What a good fighter. Wow. Very the fight is like tough that. via strikes. Really eight good. Eight minutes and seven seconds of the opening round, and here we see it again. He'll surf the corner, much to the delight of the crowd here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya. And what a story Takanori Gomi is offering here in Pride. He made his debut overwhelming Shooter Box Academy's Jason Costa with strikes at Bushido 2 last February. His last fight, destroying the previously unbeaten Hal Gracie in six seconds. And tonight, he decimates Fabio Mello. Let's go to the replay, boss and Quentin. Look at this. He goes me. Everything is a hit on the money. He gets hit in, in between, but he still keeps focused. Hitting all the targets, the body. And he took him down with that one to the body. Watch this. Here we're going to go. Big knee coming It's the up. body shots, guys. I always say it. There we go. One more. And now it comes. There Big it knee. is. And now, that's going to be the oh, knockout, see? As I'm telling you, if you get tired, the body's getting weak. Bang, hit it. Look at this, Quentin. This is your style, man. That's my style right there, huh? It's called whoop your ass style. Whoop your ass. Oh, like he's been God. training it. The best Very of three impressive. series now between Brazilian top team and Team Japan now knotted at one apiece, which sets up the dramatic third and final fight of the night. The main event, also a rematch between Antonio Rogerio Nogueira and Kazuhiro Nakamura. But for Takanori Gomi, his star continues to rise here in Pride Fighting Championships. Tonight, tiebreaker.
青コーナー 191cm92.8kg アントニオ・ホジャリオ・ノゲラノゲラ 28-62205 pounds undefeated at 4-0 in pride アメコーナー 25, Nakamura's 25, 5'11, 205 pounds, 3-1 in pride. In fact, his only loss, his MMA debut against his opponent tonight, Noguera. There you see in his corner, his trainer, 1992 Olympic gold medalist Hidehiko Yoshida, the great judo practitioner who's become a great MMA fighter in his own right. Yeah, a little payback. You know, look, look at Nakamura, how the way he looks. Every time we see him fight, he's losing weight and he's gaining muscle. Oh, yeah, he's he, getting he, better he, and better. Oh, wow. That's good. He's training. He's training hard. And joining us for this, the main hands. event, is Quentin Rampage Jackson once again, adding his inimitable color commentary. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Now, Nakamura, you're right, boss. I mean, this guy has gotten better and better the more we see him. And, of course,、yeah. Noguera coming off the biggest win of his career, vanquishing Sakuraba at Shockwave 2003. Hey, what's this stuff on this guy's back? What's, what's going on? It's、um, it, it's probably a therapy thing. Like、uh, he was waxing. Like he, no, no, no waxing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's like he was waxing. He forgot to take out. You know, he's in a hurry. He got the last three strips. Like, Just leave him on. Okay, this is the main event of Bushido Four. The best of three series hanging in the balance, tied at one apiece. Nakamura looking to avenge that submission loss against Noguera. Noguera, of course, continuing to steamroll, wanting to anyways. He's eight and one in his career. He also has designs on Vanderlei Silva's middleweight championship. For real? You got it. That means he won't. You may have to face him one day, Quentin.、Uh, for real? I,、yep. like, I like the twin brothers. I can't tell them apart, but I like both of them. Their names the same, too. Well, unfortunately, there is that one、uh, telltale sign on、uh, Rodrigo's back. Of course, going back to the、uh, tragic accident、oh, yeah, when he yeah, was a yeah, youngster yeah. that almost killed him, put him in a coma for four days, hospital、yeah. for a year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's on the way I can tell. Nice、Whoa. kick there. It was a beautiful、right. middle kick there by Noguera. Yep. But Nakamura looks impressive, and in his former fights, also, he's got some good punching power. And、um, he, he looks way better than he did the last fight. But, like I said, Noguera, he's on a roll.、And、both of them, both brothers are. Yeah, they are on a roll. Of course, the Nakamura coming off a submission victory over Khalid de Faust at Bushido 3. Now he's in the close guard of Noguera. Do, do he want to be down there?、Uh, uh, is his Jiu Jitsu pretty good or what? He, no, of course.、Uh, He's a judo guy for sure. Are you talking about Noguera or Nakamura? Nakamura. Yeah, Nakamura is more of a judo practitioner. That's his strengths. But his grappling and throwing skills,、uh, well, of course, throwing skills are there. The grappling is getting better and better. And I'm sure he spends、uh, many hours working on his jiu jitsu as well. I'm pretty sure. But the Noguera brothers, they're pretty good off their they back. They don't mind being down there. No, they're,、uh, you know, we labeled、uh, his twin brother the submission magician coming off that victory over Heath Herring at Critical、Look. Countdown. Yep, and that's what they are. Personally, I don't like being on my back. I don't even sleep on my back. I sleep on my belly also.、Yeah. But listen, he, ma he made an armbar on, on Nakamura in the first time when they fought. So he armbarred Nakamura already. So Nakamura has to watch out on the ground.、Yeah. Of course, that was Nakamura's first fight in MMA and、uh, working with the likes of Yoshida and、uh, TK and Yokoi. I'm sure that、uh, he's going to do anything he can to avoid that predicament. Oh, no, that's true. It's that. That's okay. Everything. Yeah, we had some inside pointers here right now. And、um, no, Gara and Nakamura. Tell me, kind enough. No, no, listen. I,、oh, what I wanted to say is this、uh, He lost the ground game, and he's doing judo for many, many years. So、right. the ground game probably didn't improve that much because he was with his trainer, always Yoshida, all the time. If he would have knocked him out, then I could say, okay, maybe he worked on his striking, but his ground game. Probably improved too, but I mean, you don't think Guerra's working too. Yeah, you know? I know exactly, well, of course. And、uh, when you remember the Brazilian top team, I mean,、uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is in your blood, so there's no doubt about it that Noguera definitely has the upper hand when it comes to Jiu Jitsu skills. I、yep. think so. And I think he's got the reach advantage, 
last time it was better striking too, although Nakamura really impressed me with the striking. So does Nan. Hmm. That means I think so too. Of course, when fighting the likes of Nakamura, as he's hit with another middle kick there. Uh, you have to watch out for one of his patented moves, the uch Uchimata, which is the hip throw with the leg taken from judo, of course. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can mix it up with his judo skills against the likes of Nogueira here tonight. Yeah, I want to see some judo skills with some tape on his back. Some judo skills. It's an extra handle. It's like wearing a gi. <laughs> He's wearing a gi. Well, that's Nogueira. a good setup there. But, and then follow it up with a, a right hook to the head. Left straight to the body, right hook to the head for Nogueira, that is. Canadian boy, how you feel about them haters out there in TV land? Oh, I love them. There's no such thing as hate. It's all about peace, love, and happiness, my friend. Noguera and Nakamura here again. No Noguera actually doing a great job of pressing the fight now with the strikes and the leg kicks. Nakamura will have to find a way, an opening boss, to, to close the gap here and perhaps go for a judo takedown. Yep, but it's very difficult because he had it already a few times and, and it didn't work. I'm pretty sure Noguera been training judo. Oh, no, funny, but yeah. And they probably, you know, jiu-jitsu, judo, it's so close, man. Yeah. And uh, they both train with the gi. Yeah. So because you, there's always the surprise that suddenly Nakamura is going to show up in a gi. And, and, and he's not going to, you know, he's going to keep on his gi. Which yeah. one do you think is more effective, judo or jiu-jitsu? I think in uh, jiu-jitsu is more allowed. Mm, so yeah. I think uh, yeah. it's more effective. But, um, so that's the name. But... You can't tell. I mean, Yoshida and uh, Horst, the first time they fought, Yoshida looked really good, although, the, you know, it was controversial. And out Very come the red cards again, being issued to each fighter. Too much tentative uh, action. They need to close the gap. They need to pick it up here, pick up the pace, kick it up a notch, if you will. Noguera, by the way, has had surgery on his right arm to repair ligament damage that he suffered in April due to an arm bar in training. So he's saying that that right arm of his, not at 100%, but he doesn't feel it will be much of a factor in this fight. Man, he's strong. He come back from a surgery like that. Yeah, fighting. we were talking about that, but he's like his twin brother, you know? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, they're having a car crash going in the coma. Super freaks when it the, comes to yeah. physical fitness. They get double tendons and everything. It's they're, they're unbelievable. And the, those two guys, good good guys. The twin brother, they, 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 they're nice guys. Oh, oh, Nogueira yeah. looking very comfortable in the stand-up here. Yeah, and you see that when... Um, Nakamura tries to close the distance and tries to throw him, how easy he pushes him away. It's the only thing he has to do. In fact, Noguera really looking oh, like he did against that. Sakuraba on New Year's Eve. So kudos to Rogerio Noguera, really a very well-rounded fighter. And again, he has designs, as we mentioned, on the middleweight championship, saying that if there is another middleweight tournament next year, he wants to be a part of it. Did you just say kudos? Yes, I did. All right, don't say it no more. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Give me respect. <laughs> I'll resort to my uh -oh. kindergarten look at this, look at this. here. What he does? I hate when they do that. The jumping uh, guard there, but look at Nakamura in the good position here now as he's managing to sneak in some of those right hands in the corner. Yep, and like I mentioned before, he got some good power on them. He has some. I'm Dutch, guys. Got some, has some. Well, I'm not allowed to use uh, poly, uh, mo you know, mono polysyllabic words, so don't worry about it, boss. See, he couldn't even say that word. He know he's making up words. Yeah, that, that I don't even know what it means. Oh, well, I was going to say, I might not even be able to say monosyllabic. Okay, Nakamura and Noguera here. Again, uh, we've seen a lot of this tonight at Bushido 4. A lot of the t tentative action, the feeling out process. They need to close the distance here. I want to see a crow cop high kick to the face. That's what I want. Nice oh. middle kick there by Noguera. Come on, man. I see a crow cop high kick to the face. Yeah, but his hands are really high, so <laughs> it will be on the block right now. Oh, not right now. Whoa, that nice was shot nice. there by Nakamura. That's double cut. Noguera didn't like that. Nope. Again, able to sneak through the guard there was Nakamura. Yep, and it's went right straight to the body. Left into the head, right straight to the body. Try it out in training. See how many times you hit it. It's unbelievable. See how, how you like it. I tried that in training. Yeah, it's like 90% or 95% a hit. If the left hook gets a hit, right straight's always a hit. Always. Nice low leg kick there by Nakamura. As if you're a right-handed guy, though, right? That's Trying right. to get Noguera off his game plan here as Noguera was really focused. He managed to stay in within his comfort zone. Noguera looked very focused. Look at him. He's doing his jab, but it's not that effective, but at least he's doing it. 
It's strange this is the third match that stays on the feet. Oh, yeah, well, we, like I said, we've seen a lot of this tonight. A lot of stand-up. It would be better, though, if they were standing up, if we'd see a little more of the uh, fisticuffs. And that's Noguera trying to do just that, as he wants to press this fight. Nakamura needs to... Oh, take nice. Well, oh. Left. Nice little combo. Very good. Another left, right. He's got to pull himself out. Watch out. Get out of there. Yes. I tell you There's what. a tie clinch. That's oh. good. <laughs> left hand. Oh, oh, the body again. Whoa. Very nice. Oh, oh, good body shots. Well, Guerra he's, has him in the tie clinch. He's getting, able to rein in some knees and now getting. just hitting Nakamura at will with those combinations, guys. Oh. Right here, I rip one of those tapes off his back. Just rip it off. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> yeah, distract him. Wow, that was a nice little piece of action there, huh? I would have been happy if he ripped that tape off his bed. It would have been not enough action for me for the night. Nakamura like really needs to uh, increase his intensity here, though. Noguera has uh, really controlled this first round as we wind down the opening 10 minutes of this, the main event of Bushido 4, the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan. The third and final bout of the Team Japan versus Brazilian Top Team Series. Oh, right in the nice bell. Reflection. And a good sign of sportsmanship as they touch gloves. I like sportsmanship. So how did, uh, how did you uh, feel about that opening 10 minutes? Who, Masito me? and a rampage. Oh, okay, I, you go first, man. The I go man first. first the open, open 10 minutes could have been a little bit better, but you know what I'm saying? They putting it down. They trying to do something. This is a main event. I want to see some, some knees and some head kicks and some stuff like that. Yeah, the action that we just saw, that like 30 seconds, 45 seconds action with the knees and the punch, the knees and the punch from Noguera delivering it to Nakamura. That action I want to see. Yeah, while the action was sporadic, when we did see it, it was uh, very exciting and uh, hopefully uh, an indication of what's going to happen in the final five minutes. Again, special prosciutto rules. One ten-minute round, five five-minute round. Let's revisit some of that opening round. Boom, action. left knee. But that was not the lever. It was the milk. Yeah, that was, that was a good combo. Here, Here we go. go. Watch. Oh, oh, solar plexus actually a little underneath there on the belly button. They hurt him. They hurt him a little bit. Yep. Who would you give this first round to, Basito? I gave it to Nogueira. Okay. Yeah. The same person I gave it to. I just want to know who you gave it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thanks. And otherwise, you would have changed your mind, huh? Yeah, if you would have said the other guy, I would have said, yeah, guess yeah, who I gave yeah. it to? See? I just want to agree with you. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Listen, man, you're not... Oh, you are wearing the chain. Okay, nothing. I don't say anything. Oh, look at that. You see, now, that this action was good. The knees, knees, the punch, just loaded up. Look at this. Yeah, Noguera really scoring from the dominant position. The tie clinch, able to find the mark with those knees and the combinations. So, uh, on the basis of that alone, Noguera gets the upper hand in that opening round, so we are just seconds away from uh, wrapping up this fight and uh, Bushido 4. And again, don't forget, final conflict 2004 is just around the corner, August 22nd, the final rounds of the heavyweight tournament. Make sure you order it on pay-per-view. And now Nakamura saying, okay, I gotta, I gotta definitely get busier here. I don't blame him, he yep. needs it. That's what his corner told him to do, for sure. Who is Yoshida in this corner? Yes, uh, it is Kosaka. Yoshida. TK and Yokoi. Oh, okay. Yoshida probably chewing them out. That's a pretty good corner there, if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Nagara got a pretty good corner, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, there we go. This is what the fans want to see. An this exchange between Nakamura and Nogueira. They're taking a little break right now, like they're resting. That's what you do. Those fighters do. We resting right there. Yeah, you don't want to throw everything out right away, huh? Yeah, man, you can't rest in the last five minutes and you lose and you got you, you down. Yeah, but I'm sure within like 30 seconds they're going to load again. You Unload. See, you again. can hear TK shouting out instructions ooh, to Nakamura. Ooh, 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 now Nogueira with the heavy hands backs Nakamura up momentarily. Man, they sweating like pigs, and they working. Mm. Nice uppercut by Nakamura from the tie clinch, but the knees again taking their toll from Noguera. Noguera got those knees. Yeah, he should knee more. Whoa, oh, nice. the judo. Take down there by Nakamura. But in the guard, and that was the position that the last time he got armbarred in. Correct. Oh, He's not kind of nice. Anybody home? Yeah. Anybody home? Oh. Anybody home? Hello. Irritating Noguera with those palm 
slaps. That's all they're doing. Ir irritating him. He's smacking him. This little bitch slaps. Uh, yeah. You know, God, I mean, distraction, okay, but uh, follow it up with some hard punches. They're at the ropes, referee is He's getting up for the break. They're going to restart them in the center of the ring in the same position. He's scared to hit him hard. That's why he's smacking him like that. He gets scared to hit him hard. Some, some people do that sometimes. I'm only going to start using the word smacking with Quentin next to me because then I know something's going to happen. No, no, don't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Interesting strategy being employed there by Nakamura. Of course, Noguera undefeated in pride at 4-0. and zero. Nakamura, 3-1, and one, the only loss coming at the hands of Nakamura or Noguera back at pride 22. I yes, passing it. in triangle. Ooh. I see the triangle coming. Yep, but you know what? They're very sweaty, both of them right yeah. now, and it's going to be very difficult to get a submission. But a much better, much more oh, uh, busier this. second round. Would you guys agree this is the fight that the oh, fans yeah. wanted to see here in round number two? Yeah, he should let him up right now, huh, Bob? What is yep. Oh. Interesting he can, spin, he can almost crash. passing the guard by Noguera, doing a great job of catching him in his web. Yeah, those guys too good on their back, man. I don't even want to be down there with those guys on their back. You never know what can happen. Never. Yeah. These guys take chances. Like It's like they're gambling or something. They, they're gamblers. But you know what? On his feet, he didn't do really good either. There's this nice this is going good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I Yo, here we go. Oh, setting oh, him up almost no. for a triangle. Uh, I feel you now. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, he didn't do that good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Half guard. Oh, he just trying to get Gera. back on his feet there. He should get up as fast as he can. Yeah. And Referee now he should press. Bring them up. Finish strong. Finish strong. That's what Nogueira needs to do in order to win this fight. Yeah, the judges remember the last thing they see, huh, boss? Yep. Lots at stake here. Nogueira's undefeated record. The series between Team Japan and Brazilian top team. And of course, revenge on the mind of Kazuhiro Nakamura. We'll see what happens in the final minutes of this, the main event of Bushido 4. And it's Nogueira again pressing the fight. Yep, the corner is screaming. They know that he has to finish strong too. The whole fight, it was all him, but he's got to finish too, uh, strong too, just to make sure he's going to get the victory. There we go. Now no, step out fatigued. and knee. Both corners screaming instructions, knowing that time is of the essence One, now. Two, the two, final two, 60 two, seconds. Oh, the main event. was a good shot. Go oh, good knee. Nakamura. And those knees, if you're hurt, uh, if you're tired, they hurt. Oh, That's no. the knee. That's the liver oh, right no. there. Go again. It's OV. With the Look knee. at this. Back what a finish. Nakamura up with the punches and the knees. Noguera. Whoa. There's a takedown nice take by Nakamura. But then again, knowing that there's less than a minute left, he'll have to uh, definitely pull something out here and fast if he wants to submit him. But Noguera, of course, very, very good from the bottom, from the guard. Look at this. He's going for it again. 30, less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. He has to work. He has to work. Finish strong. But in my book, he won this fight. Noguera did. Yeah. Nakamura's looked a lot better than he did against Noguera in his fight. Uh, the first fight, of course, yep. that goes without saying. And you see the improvement. And there is the bell wrapping up this fight and the best of three series. And uh, it looks as if Antonio Rogerio Noguera will improve to 5-0, and zero, giving BTT the victory here tonight at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan. Um, a much better second round from Nakamura than the first, though, guys. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Look at it. Look at his eyes. It's already getting fed. What happened? He's got uh, the mouse there, blood trickling down. He got jaw jacked a few times. And you can see the uh, respect now. The great, great display here by both fighters. Yep. That's what MMA is all about. That's why mixed martial arts is the fastest growing sport in the world. The fastest. Let's go. Let's see. Boom, boom. The knees, punches, everything. It came back. That flurry that I was talking about, look it up. Oh, that's what swallowed his eye up right there. Wow. That flurry right there. Oh. Look at that flurry. If Nakamura keeps training like this, he's going to be a major force in uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah. And so, so is Yokoi, his corner man. That person really impressed me too. Yeah, I'm impressed with, with, 
with his, you know, heart. He didn't. Nagara was hitting him with some good stuff, some good knees. He oh, didn't even yeah. go down. Well, the decision may be academic, but we do await the judges. Decision here as you see Yoshida coming off a victory against Mark Hunt at Critical Countdown. Let's find out who wins tonight's series between Brazilian top team and Team Japan. Oh, wow, Nakamura gets one judges. That's not possible. And uh, split decisions, the order of the night tonight, guys. Yeah. There oh, it is, no. Ogeria and Bruce too. I was afraid of him with him. That's going to be the other way around. But Nogueira took the victory, as we all thought. So we can be a judge yeah. if yeah. we don't have a job anymore. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, just it's, it's hard to lose to the same guy twice, huh? And with it a is. count of uh, two to one, Brazilian top team uh, records the victory in the series. But Team Japan, it looks like, you know, even in losses, they do seem to be closing the gap with the rest of the world. We saw Takanori Gomi look tremendous in his fight. Nakamura, split decision tonight against Nogueira, much better than being submitted like he was in his first yeah, fight. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, he did a lot better. So, an interesting turn of events here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan. So next time, he'll probably try to get the win, or he's moving up. That's and this right. time, hey, I didn't get submitted. Baby steps. Baby yeah, steps. Yeah, as long as you continue to take steps of any kind in the right direction, you're on your way to, uh, to success. Hey, I just got one thing to say about this fight. RampageUnchained.com. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, after doing a, a yeoman's job, as always, we'll allow you to uh, promote your website. Thanks again, Quentin Rampage Anytime. Jackson. Uh, hey. Great having you. Uh, nobody uh, commentates like you do. Uh, and of course, Boss Rune, nobody commentates like you do as well. Uh, it's always a pleasure working with you guys. There we see the celebration in the ring now. Rogerio Noguera. August and don't 22. forget. Um, as uh, we take a look back quickly at what happened tonight, two to one for Brazilian top team. What do you think of Dokona Janasuke Mishima, man? What a great victory over Marcus Aurelio earlier. Yep, it was unbelievable. Very good fighter, very charisma charismatic, jumping around. He's a uh, yeah, firecracker, like I said, a Terminator. All right, and Mirko Krokop as well. He's back, and he is definitely on his way to becoming the number one contender in the heavyweight division again. Of course, we will remind you now that the next time you'll see us on pay-per-view, it promises to be one of the biggest events in Pride history. It is going to be August 22nd. Total elimination, critical countdown, and now Final Conflict 2004, the final rounds of the heavyweight tournament. It is going to be Heratana, Ogawa, Emelianenko, and Nogueira. We'll see Mirko Krokop again. The much-anticipated bout between Vanderlei Silva and Yuki Kondo. You do not want to miss Final Conflict 2004, August 22nd. And I'll be here August 22. I'm flying out on my own dime. Just come watch this, man. And no doubt about that, we invite you to join us on pay-per-view. Thanks again for joining us tonight for Rampage, Quinton Jackson. What? For Wapo Boss Rutan, this is Moro Ranallo saying thank you and good night from the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya. We hope you've enjoyed Pride Fighting Championships Bushido 4. I love Hawaii. Waikiki! Sayonara!